And now it's time for another check on our first warning weather. It's going to be a nice day today. I'm looking forward to and I you know I love working here at WDSU. I love working with all the people we have here at the station. I love yeah. working in the weather ops, but I'm looking forward to the end of the day when I can get outside and enjoy some of this nice weather. <laughs> you just want to go take a nap, Jim. <laughs> That's a little too much information. <laughs> Last time I Bingo. shared that information with you. <laughs> well, you know what? It is going to be a good late morning or afternoon for a nap because it's still a little bit on the cool side. Skies are clear right now. And we're going to have plenty of sunshine today. We may have a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon, but WDSU first warning radar not showing us any rain yet. Going to be a different story by Monday night. Temperatures now rising into the 60s on the North Shore. We are in the mid 40s in Bogalusa first thing this morning at 6 a.m. Now 64 the temperature there. 71 in Galliano, Homa 66, 66 also in Gulfport. Now the dew point temperature has come up a bit, especially at the airport. It's at 63 right now at Lewis Armstrong International. Winds from the east to northeast at about 7 miles per hour. Not an overly breezy day today, but we've seen a couple of changes in the last 24 hours. This is the water vapor imagery. We still have relatively dry air in place at the mid and upper levels, but all the orange there, that's the driest air. That's moved farther to the east. One of the last updates we'll probably give you on Tropical Storm Sarah, extremely disorganized, going to be downgraded to a remnant area of low pressure, probably sometime late Sunday or Monday. But is whatever's left of this gets out into the Gulf of Mexico, some of that moisture may actually interact with the cold front, bringing us an increased chance for rain. Again, Monday night to Tuesday morning. Today, we may get a couple of clouds according to this model, but let's just call the high temperature in the mid 70s and just say it's going to be a great day. Sunday looks equally nice. Now, this is when things are going to be changing for us. Let's take a look at the forecast Monday, going from Monday morning now to Monday evening, right around 6 o'clock. Most of the daylight hours should be dry, but by the dinner hour, starting to see some rain develop. And I think overnight Monday into Tuesday, pausing things here at midnight, it could be kind of rocky for us overnight. You could be awakened by some thunder overnight Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, still picking up on some rain. Some of these storms could be on the strong side. Obviously, locally heavy rain is a definite possibility. The front should move through by late in the day on Tuesday, maybe even by the mid to late afternoon. Some moisture on the backside of that area of low pressure, that's a possibility. So we'll mention a couple of showers possible late morning, early afternoon. But basically, the best chance for rain coming Monday night, overnight, into Tuesday morning. Mostly sunny, warmer, and very nice today with a high temperature in the mid-70s. Tonight, mostly clear. I showed you that coastal flood advisory about 10 minutes ago. It's in effect from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. And our forecast for tomorrow calls for a high temperature close to 80 degrees. Then Monday night, Tuesday morning, weather impact days because of the thunderstorms that will be in place. And boy, look how much cooler it gets in the 30s on the North Shore Thursday morning. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.